Well, a few days ago, my wife and I headed out from central Montana, where we live, out to northwestern Montana. Oh, excuse me, my coffee water is boiling. And the uh, weather had been getting pretty nice in Great Falls, where we're at, where we're from, and we'd just been sitting in the house all winter long, and it had been below zero for quite a while during the winter, and we wanted to get out so bad, but we hadn't spent any time in northwest Montana, and it is beautiful up here. But uh, we've forgotten that we really don't like camping in the woods. It's uh, always shaded, and <laughs> and it even though it's getting up to about 65 during the day, it takes until like three o'clock in the afternoon to do that. So. When we were young hippies, well, I was the hippie, she was the Okinawan Hawaiian, or the Hawaiian Okinawan, used to the warm weather. But we lived in the Seattle area, and we would take our Volkswagen bus out and head for the woods, and we'd get there and there would be nothing to do because in, in Washington State it's all damp, and the woods are all overgrown, and we were so disappointed with that. And coming out here this week reminded us of those times where it's just cold and damp. Now in the middle of summer this would be all right, but we've decided over, over the years that we really like heading for the desert. That's why you'll see most of my videos when we're traveling. We'll be down in uh, South Central Utah or Central Nevada or down in Arizona if the weather's colder. We just love those wide expanses. <laughs> so anyways, we came out here and we've only been here for a few days and now guess what the high on this is uh, this is Friday and the high on on uh, Sunday is supposed to be in the low 30s the mountain passes are going to get 12 to 18 inches of snow even Great Falls where we live is supposed to get several inches of snow and it's going to go back down into the low 20s at night we're going home <laughs> We're leaving today and we're just going to head back home and we'll wait a few weeks and then get out again. But you got to admit it's beautiful. We're surrounded by cedar trees and balsam firs and Douglas firs and it is pretty here. But it's just not pretty enough to keep this guy here. I need to go someplace and warm my bones up. Should have headed for Utah to begin with or Arizona right now but we had some appointments coming up in another week, so we didn't have enough time. But we'll bring you along when we do that, that's for sure. We just bought this little coffee pot. It's a Stanley. It's got the uh, French press on it. And we've been liking it. It holds enough for two big cups of coffee. And it's definitely time for coffee. Well, if you ever wondered what to do with these wash jugs after you've gotten all your laundry detergent out of them, they work really good for bringing along on these trips and using it for washing dishes. This one here has been going for about four years now. <laughs> Another former recycling. I guess the thing is that sometimes your trips just don't go quite as planned, and you got to just go to plan B or C. Sometimes we take off and everything is really good from the beginning, and other times it just doesn't feel quite right. You know, maybe we're needed at home for something, I don't know, but. Just got to shift gears and do it again. Morning, Linda. You know what the nice thing is, though, is when you make that trip and you don't know what to expect, and it turns out to be something really special. 
or some place that you didn't know was going to be very nice or maybe you didn't know what it was going to be like at all but you get in there and you find out it's really a cool place. We generally just road trip. We're not full timers but sometimes I say we're full part timers because we like to get out a lot. That's why they call me gone again. <laughs> So we generally get out, we go for two or three weeks, then back again and we'll make several trips a year like that. We have a lot of fun doing that. Like I mentioned earlier, we generally head south. <laughs> Linda's from Hawaii, she doesn't like the cold too much. How she ended up in central Montana, I don't know, but she kind of likes it there. Well, we're out of here, we're going to hit the road. Don't know what else is going to be in this video, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Well, we just stopped at the uh, Kootenay Swinging Bridge between Troy and Libby, Montana. And uh, it may be under construction, we don't know. But it's quite a famous spot. Go down and check it out. Looks like a footbridge over the railroad tracks. when you walk on it.
Well, back during the Depression, my father was a hobo, and he was damn proud of it. Riding the rails, looking for work. He said the difference between a hobo and a bum was that a hobo was willing to work for his meals. He went on and joined the three C's. And after that, he was a Navy CB during World War II. He was proud of that too, for good reason. Quite the man.